Okay, and so we are back. We are at the t uh, bottom of the second inning in the game between Laredo, Texas, and Dorado, Puerto Rico. We've got uh, only one hit for, uh, for Puerto Rico, two for Laredo. No runs scored so far. The game is 0-0. Apologize for the delay as we were coming back from a lunch break. After calling three games this morning, this is game number four for us. And with me on the microphone is former city manager, former parks director for the city of Austin, Jesus Chuy Olivares. It's great to be here, uh, council member. Great games we've had so far. We had an exciting game in the uh, afternoon, uh, three o'clock game between Mexico, Sonora, uh, Nogales, Sonora, Mexico and Covina, California, which brought some excitement as Covina was trying to make a comeback to uh, stay, stay in the uh, winner's bracket. Fortunately, they, uh, they, did not, they did not win, and so Mexico advances. And so right now, batting for Laredo, I believe we have uh, Jay Lynn batting. Joshua Lynn, number, I'm oh, sorry, uh, we've got number 15 at the plate here, different number, yes, Joshua Lynn, Joshua Lynn, number 15, batting. You have a runner on second. On right up the gut and going all the way to center field. They got the runner coming in from third. And the throw was in time, but it just bounced right over the catcher's head for the first run scored by Laredo. Excellent throw from center fielder. Gerardo Castillo, number nine, making that run from third. Exceptional aggressive base running. That was a great shot right down, right down the middle. And this is what we were talking about when you play on the uh, AstroTurf like this. If, if, you, if you catch a ball on a bounce, uh, you better stay on top of it because it's going to get a big bounce and it's going to go over like it did right now over the catcher. That's right. It's got that big hop and it'll sponginess on the, uh, on the turf there, on the artificial turf. So we, we continue to have some excellent baseball played here at the Palomino World Series at Veterans Field, courtesy of Laredo Independent School District, who is gracious enough to loan us their field. Thanks to Athletic Director Sylvia Barrera, who is in the, in the booth with us this afternoon. She's going to rat on her a little bit. She's doing some paperwork. But uh, we do appreciate what she's done for us and, and UISD for providing the transportation, the shuttles, and the use of their student activity complex, the Bill Johnson Student Activity Complex, named after one of the beloved pony directors here in Laredo who passed recently. Bill Johnson, a big contributor to uh, youth sports in Laredo. Uh, Mr. City Manager, you remember uh, Bill Johnson, actively Ex involved for many excellent, years. Excellent individual. Worked with him for many years with Border Olympics and and uh, Little League Baseball, Pony Baseball. Now oh, you, and there's a, there's a throw to first base. They've got yeah. the runner going to second. Excellent work by the pitcher. Excellent Catching pick. Him. Excellent right. pick. Caught him off guard and had no choice but to run to second, and down he went. So yeah. that's uh, Joshua Lynn getting picked off there going to second. And at the plate, we have Mr. Gabriel. Jeremy Gabriel, number nine. Playing that center field, the seventh spot. We've had some phenomenal baseball played here. These kids are very, very talented. I can see how... Uh, they've made it all the way here. 
Uh, we have uh, some scouts down at the bottom from uh, Tammy U. They've been looking at some boys here, um, which is good. They were. Well, this is the, a showcase tournament. That's right. Really they is. see that um, the game between uh, California and Mexico, they were looking at both of their pitchers, and uh, they were interested in one of the kids from California. And I think it's great. I think. It's perfect for Tammy U to be able to have a showcase like this here in their backyard, and they just sit back and take a look at these kids, and hopefully, maybe they might get a kid out of out of one of these teams that to come and commit, play baseball here in Laredo at Tammy U. That's right. So we've got a strikeout for uh, out number three, retiring the side, and that was uh, pitcher Melendez throwing a uh, swing and a miss strike. And so Laredo takes the field, and Puerto Rico will come to the plate. You know, we were talking about uh, our friend Bill Johnson and all the work that he did, uh, a true friend of the youth, and uh, always, always participating in any kind of sport, uh, like I mentioned, baseball for Little League, uh, Pony. Not only that, but he was also a coach. That's right. That's right. He spent a lot of years coaching as well. And he took some kids to to the uh, Little League uh, playoffs and the state championship. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the kids that he coached at that time were the same kids that grew up and uh, went to state uh, championship in high school, United. And those were all the kids that uh, Bill and Rangel, Manolo, all the ones that they were coaching, they they all stuck together, and they represented Laredo at the state championship for high school baseball here in Texas. There you go. So a uh, lot of lot of dedication from Mr. Bill Johnson. We are uh, sorry that he's no longer with us. He was a, a great asset to the community, and his passing left a big void um, for us. And and I know that we we honored him earlier uh, yesterday after the ceremony. But the moment of silence, and and you could just feel the, the love the the Laredo Pony crowd had for him. Uh, he's meant a lot to, to to them, and we know he's watching us from above. What great baseball here. So we've got um, uh, Mr. Winans pitching, and he throws a nice fastball strike right down the pipe. A swing and a miss, and at the plate. Uh, we don't have the lineup yet from uh, the Dorado Puerto Rico team, but it, we will do our best to get those names to you. If there is a parent out there who might want to share the lineup with us and maybe knows the kids that are playing, please come up to the press box and let us have that information. Swing a foul. <laughs> and so Jay Cortez and I, uh, Negron, who is batting here for Puerto Rico. We were able to get that from our uh, great friends over to Game, uh, Game Changer as a game stream to us. We are taking that information in remotely. Again, another foul ball. Negron. Number two. And so we've got... Uh, Billy Winans pitching here. Throws a ball, and we've got. Uh, can't see the strike count here on this screen, but we'll do our best to keep track of it. Nice long fly ball into center field, and it is caught for out number one. Jeremy Abrillo making that catch. I take that back. I'm sorry. That is Mr. Lynn making that catch. Joshua Lynn making that catch out in center field. Low and outside for Winans to pitching to Torres Orozco, Mr. R. Torres Orozco. 
again, if we've got a parent out there from Puerto Rico, we'd love to have you come over and give us the names of some of the players we've got. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you're welcome to comment and, and chat with us. We'll, we'll give a shout out to your, your favorite player over YouTube. We're broadcasting across the world, worldwide, as they say. And as these two teams are pairing off right now, Moreto and Puerto Rico, both teams are undefeated. Both teams undefeated. So this is the winner's bracket that we're in right now. And a swing and a miss. Moreto leads here at the uh, top of the third. One run to nothing over Dorado, Puerto Rico. Joe, it's been a hot day today, hot day for baseball. And, you know, that afternoon game, you could see that the uh, pitcher from Mexico was beginning to struggle a little bit with that heat coming on. It sure is. Uh, these kids have really, really done a great job. Uh, you can tell they're in tremendous shape to be able to play in this type of heat. Um, Absolutely. Coaches are doing a great job keeping them hydrated, keeping them all in the shade. That's right. So after ball four, uh, Art Torres Orozco moves on to first base. So Puerto Rico's got a runner on first. And coming up to bat is number 32, Mr. El Otero Nieves. And we're going to guess that maybe his name is Luis or Lalo yeah, Otero Nieves. El Otero Nieves at the plate. Billy Winans pitching. Throw to first. Nothing doing. Back on base safely is R. Torres. Outside for ball one. Laredo leading Puerto Rico one to nothing. We've got a nice live chat going here. Foul tip here. Runner who's advancing to second is going back to first. Nice jump on jump on the pitch. However, is tip foul. Beautiful facilities here at Veterans Field in Laredo, Texas. Absolutely. Courtesy of Laredo Independent School District. Relatively new field. You know, Laredo's made quite an investment in baseball. I mean, this is one of the uh, newer facilities, as is Unitrade, and now about to build a sports complex, something that, uh, that you had a lot to do with uh, when you were a for, uh, city manager for the city of Laredo, former city manager Chuy Olivares here with me. And that was, uh, that was a project that was approved by the, the voters of, uh, of Laredo. Um, to build a, a, a sports complex so that we can continue to provide these type of opportunities for a lot of the young kids here in Laredo and surrounding areas in the state of Texas and all the United States and other countries. This is why Laredo has become a mecca for baseball. Absolutely, and we've got some great uh, history with baseball dating back into the early 30s and 40s. Throw to second. Runner is safe at second. However, it was ball four, and the batter, number 32, Otero Nieves, is advancing to first base. So Puerto Rico with two men on. Gonzalez Ortiz coming to the plate, number 40, 49. Number 49 coming to the plate. Ortiz on second, Otero Nieves on first. And we've got Billy Winans pitching for Laredo. And we've got a coach walking up to the mound here. Looks like we're going to have a little discussion. One of my favorite scenes from Bull Durham is where they all get together on the mound and start discussing uh, all sorts of things except baseball. Exactly. It just I always wonder what they're talking about in there. He's up there just telling his pitcher to settle down a little bit. Just it's early. Mm-hmm. 
a little excitement probably, a little adrenaline flowing through him. Just needs to settle in, settle down. He's doing well. He's got him scoreless right now, but he's got uh, Puerto Rico's threatening. They've got two runners on base, first and second. Shout out to uh, Laredo Pony President uh, Richard Rosas, who has been traveling between these fields, uh, checking on the tournament progress. Um, he's been quite active, especially down over at the Bronco World Series, which is being held at the M.E. Benavides Sports Complex, which is the uh, softball complex City of Laredo has down over in South Laredo. The edge uh, of the riverbanks. Richard's done a great job in maintaining uh, the pony organization here in Laredo, Texas. This is a uh, pony came to Laredo in 2009. And that's when we started uh, joining the organization uh, together with the rest of the or organizers in the valley. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, we've, uh, we've started... Uh, hosting tournaments and the local, state, regional. Right. And now we're hosting World and Series. That's right. Look at what it's become now, hosting the World Series. We've got two outs. That was a pop fly over to second base. And and we've got uh, runners on first and second. Number 93 is Fonseca Ortiz. Why Fonseca Ortiz? Again, if we've got a parent or we've got someone, a representative, ambassador from Puerto Rico who can provide us uh, some first names, we'd be happy to take those from you here at the press box. And if you are online and watching this game and you know the players, chat us up. Send them on the, on the live chat. We'll pick it up here. We'll, we'll certainly make sure we call these names correctly and give your student athlete proper identification. And that's a strike by Billy Winans to Fonseca Ortiz. With runners on first and second. Two outs, top of the third. Raider leading 1-0. Pitcher checks the runner on second. Turns back around to focus on the batter. Number 93, Fonseca Ortiz. Billy Winans on the mound. End up in the throw. Foul ball. And Council Member, just uh, two weeks ago, Laredo was also the host city for the uh, Pony Girls Pass Pitch uh, World Series that took place here. That's right. You're absolutely right, uh, Chewy. They, they were they were here, but over 100 teams they had uh, last, uh, last week when they were here. A testament to some of the work you did to, to get all that lined up and brought here and um, you know came back uh, after they were gone for two years all right. Uh, right they started in 2016 18 17 and 8, 18 they uh, they left then the pandemic hit and, and Billy Winans gets him for strike three ending the inning Holding Puerto Rico to no run, stranding two runners, one on first, one on second. And we come to the bottom of the third with Loretta coming to bat, leading 1-0. So we talk about uh, what is Pony uh, uh, baseball for boys and girls. What does it do for the city of Laredo? Well, we've seen it as an opportunity uh, to put more heads in beds here in our hotels. So we see it as an opportunity for kids to, to continue to play baseball, world-class baseball. But most important, we see the economic benefit that it brings to the city. A lot of restaurants are being uh, uh, visited, Peyton, um, the hotels, uh, people doing shopping, I mean, we were downstairs um, uh, still checking and weighing baseball bats that they went out and bought.
while they were here in Laredo. A um, lot of equipment being purchased at Academy, Walmart, you know, things that they need that they couldn't bring. So there's always an opportunity for for uh, the economic impact to take place here. And we see that as as an opportunity to generate revenue here in the city of Laredo. This is why we do it. We do it because it's a benefit from the bottom all the way to the top. That's right. And uh, big economic driver also gives our youth something to, to shoot for, to be part of this uh, World Series tournament events, whether they're being hosted here or elsewhere. But just bringing these things here is a logistics um, uh, trick to, yes. to some degree, right? To juggle everything, make it all work. Uh, obviously, you're working with the school district, the city, and, and, and the Pony League and, and others to, to make this happen. Yeah, and the county has always been very helpful, too. They're in there helping us out. And and I think it's very important to be able to, to bring the rest of the world to Laredo so our hometown boys can play in their own backyard and, you know, be able to showcase themselves, and uh, so far they're doing real good. That's right, and uh, pitcher Laboy Melendez, Jay Laboy Melendez, uh, pitching two. Oh, can't see the number on the jersey here, but we'll get. Uh, so it's Mr. De Leon. We've got um, Andrew De Leon with a ground ball to short, short over to first. And he is out at first. Excellent throw. Nice stretch by the first baseman, El Martinez, to make that grab out of the dirt. Fantastic baseball being played here. You know, County Judge uh, Donald Tijerina, former Major League System product, uh, played in the system. Uh, phenomenal player. I think he uh, was at TCU. Is that correct? That was correct. And great standout at Nixon uh, right. High School. Um, certainly you can tell the the uh, Webb County commissioners are 100% behind uh, Pony and all these youth sports. And that's what it takes. It takes that, that collaboration between all these uh, governmental entities, you know, the, the partnership that we have with the school districts and, and so forth. That's right. That's, that's that, leveraging resources. That's right. That is that is right. We, you know, our taxpayers are putting all their money in this one big pot, and we're uh, making sure that we use their resources efficiently. And that's when you see that collaboration between the uh, all the governmental subdivisions in the city here. So we've got uh, Villanueva, Marco Villanueva at the plate. Uh, Jay Laboy Melendez pitching. And a foul ball down the third base. And uh, again, we're going to try to keep up with the count. Uh, we don't see that on the board and our game stream from our friends over at Game Changer. Those who don't know what Game Changer is, it's a phenomenal product. They are a, a product of Dick's Sporting Goods collaboration with Pony and Dick's Sporting Goods. And they are streaming all sorts of games. This is not the only type of game. They, they stream uh, baseball, soccer, football, you name it, they do it. A great technology partner and they are feeding us the game stream and we are broadcasting that as part of our feed here at veterans field the uh, great crew my crew over at liquid studio group marisol suarez and andrea Lanes, who's uh interning with us she's spending some time before she goes to university of texas the eyes of texas are upon her hope she gets her degree and moves on to do some great things And a nice drive right down the pipe there, going right over a short stop, headed to center field. And we've got a runner on first now, advancing over. Marco Villanueva now at first base, coming to bat for Laredo. Is Jay Gomez. Jay Gomez. Jay Gomez is, uh, is already committed to play baseball and. Uh, St. Mary's in San Antonio. Oh, outstanding. Outstanding. Jose Luis Gomez playing at St. Mary's? He's going to play. He's at uh, St. Mary's. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's committed to play with them. Fantastic. Congratulations to him and his, and his family. 
always got to thank the mom and the dad and all families involved, aunts, uncles, always part of that process of getting our kids uh, into that place to success. Sometimes I think not enough uh, uh, credit goes to the parents, the guys behind the scenes, driving them to practice, driving them to the games, just doing all those great things uh, to make their kids successful. That's right. Mr. Gomez, uh, his grandpa was a great baseball player here in, in Laredo. And um, he's out there in the stands right now watching his grandson play. Somebody else. No, it was, it, we're getting uh, some information from our friends over at uh, uh, the Bronco Field, just uh, trying to keep keep abreast of what's happening out there. We are getting some messages. So number uh, 49, I believe, for Puerto Rico is uh, Dickie Gonzalez Ortiz. If I have that correct, uh, Ms. Kaylee, Ms. Uh, Keely Gonzalez, please give me a thumbs up that I've got it right. And we apologize for some of the spam that we're getting on there. and We're making sure we get that removed. Uh, these bots don't have, uh, uh, don't always have the, uh, uh, the decency to stay off of uh, good, wholesome channels like ours. And the number five, I believe, is Luis Martinez. So, We'll keep, uh, thank you for giving us, oh, there we go. We've got to run over to uh, second, the An pickoff. A, another pickoff. That pitcher has got two of them already. It has a tremendous move. I'll tell right. you. Just caught him napping at first and made, made him, forced him to run to second, made him go over there, and they got him there as well. So. And we're seeing some action over here in the Laredo uh, bullpen area. Manolo has got two pitchers warming up over there. Smart move. All right, we've got to hit the gr uh, ground ball, the shortstop, throw to first, and the runner is out at first, and that retires the side for Laredo. Score remains 1-0. Puerto Rico coming to the plate. Jose Luis Gamis uh, with that grounder to shortstop. Throw from Gonzalez to Martinez, and so we end the third inning. Uh, the top of the third, we go down to, I'm sorry, the bottom of the third, we go to the top of the fourth here. We continue to deal with some of these spammers. And, and we'll tell you what, there some folks just don't have <laughs> anything better to do. But thank you, Keely Gonzalez, and uh, for giving us the right numbers there. And also, you are Keely Gonzalez is the sister to Dicky Gonzalez Ortiz, number forty-nine. So thank you. If you know any more of those players' names out there, please let us have those. And uh, and if you think there's somebody here in the audience that you know is from Puerto Rico, would like to come up to the press box, spend a little time with us, talk to us about Dorado, Puerto Rico, beautiful island, Isla de Solimar. You know that uh, Puerto Rico pitcher, left-hander, has a tremendous pickoff move to first base, and he's already caught two Laredo runners. Right. Gunned that, them down. That's right. He has got a nifty little move there. He's doing a fantastic job. And so coming to the plate, the first batter up is going to be uh, P. Pache Batista. So, great baseball played so far. Puerto Rico, a strong, strong team. Laredo as well. You know, Laredo's in kind of a odd, odd position here. The hometown team hosting the World Series gets to put in a team. And don't be fooled by their easy trek into the series. This is a great team here in Laredo. Very talented, uh, star-laden. They've got you know, kids that are being looked at for, for D1 as well as some D2 schools, a lot of these kids will make the next level. 
great set of all-stars coached by a great coach, Manolo Rangel and, and uh, Jorge Canales, both good players in their day, in their right. You know, one of the things that uh, uh, Mr. Manolo does uh, with the, the kids and the kids that he coaches is he'll, he'll start working with them at the age of 13, 14 years old, and then he'll stay with them. He'll stay with them, stay with them, and this is the end result right here. Right Participating here. in the World Series. That's right. So Billy Wine is back on the mound. He just threw a nice hard strike, swinging a miss by Pache Batista, batting for Puerto Rico. And another strike right down the pipe. Billy Winans on the mound for Laredo. Laredo leading Dorado Puerto Rico, one to nothing on the top of the fourth. Swing and a miss, got him. Strikeout for Billy Winans, first out of the inning for Laredo. And Billy Winans throwing one low and outside gets past the catcher. Uh, who is uh, Jose Luis Gomez, the catcher for Laredo. Puerto Rico team starting to see some activity in their bullpen also. All right. And Kaylee, again, Gonzalez, thank you for coming to the rescue. That was Pedro Pache. That's, so we now have a first name for for Pedro, thank you, thank you so much for giving us that information. Thank you for joining us live on YouTube as we're broadcasting around the world. For those folks who are uh, wanting to see their kids play, if you are uh, in contact with your family there in Puerto Rico, let them know the game is live at, on YouTube at Laredo Pony. The Bronco games are also available for the, Palomino, for the World Series here in Laredo on Facebook with uh, Laredo Pony Facebook. You can also get, get to them through the LaredoPony.org website. Uh, another strikeout for Billy Winans. Uh, taking down Luis Martinez Maldonado, number 45, I believe. And then I see Rafael Ramos has joined us with a, uh, rooting for the Puerto Rico team. Saludos from Laredo, Texas. Throwing nice and hard. I think he settled down after that uh, conversation he had with the coach and all his friends. I know they were probably, like I said, probably had a Bull Durham moment there at the mound. That's right. That was a very strategic move on the part of the coach. Nice grab by the shortstop. Nice long throw to end the inning for Puerto Rico, Laredo. That was a great snag. He, caught, right. he, got, he picked that grounder up right over second base. That's right, Move, moving to his left, uh, and that was uh, Garcia, Joel Garcia making that grab over at shortstop. Nice hard throw to first base, and that retired the side. So now we've got Puerto Rico taking the field, Laredo coming to the plate, and, uh, and we've got some, some great, great baseball happening right now. Tight game, 1-0, Laredo on top. Joey, what was baseball like in Eagle Pass growing up in small town Texas? Eagle Pass is a baseball town. I'll tell you what, Eagle Pass has a rich history of, uh, of baseball. Um, we had the opportunity when we were in high school that you know, we went to the state championship in baseball. And uh, here this past year, uh, the Eagle Pass uh, team – was in the uh, in the regionals just a step away from going again to the state playoffs and they got a great team they got uh, everybody coming back except their shortstop and their catcher so they should be uh, they should be contenders uh, again of course uh, they probably have one of the toughest districts you know Laredo 
uh, United, Alexander, United South, Del Rio, Nixon. All these uh, Laredo teams are very competitive and always in the playoffs. That's right. There you go. They but Eagle Pass, like you said, rich tradition in baseball. Our neighbors to the uh, northwest, right along the Rio Grande with the um, Ciudad uh, across the river, it is uh, Piedras Negras. And, you know, high school baseball in in Laredo, besides uh, the league and Pony, we also have uh, the largest baseball tournament in the world with uh, Border Olympics High School Baseball. Uh, last co- before the pandemic, we had 54 teams participate here in Laredo high school baseball. And I don't think there's any other city anywhere that hosts a high school baseball tournament that large. That's right. That's right. You are correct. At the plate is Joel Garcia, number 11, who is a shortstop, uh, and he is facing uh, Jay LaBoy Melendez on the pl- uh, on the mound for Puerto Rico. Throwing a nice hard strike to Garcia. Oh, we've got a nice long. It's gone. That is a home run. That was just taking a while to get out of here, but it did get out of here. Right on the right on the right side of the foul ball line. Shot. It was a shot all the way to left field. That one had some gas on it, and there it went. So. Joel Garcia with a one run shot over the uh, left field wall there. So the score now two nothing at the uh, bottom of the fourth. With Juan Elizondo, the designated hitter, coming up to the plate. Number three, if I can see his jersey correctly. Thank you, Danny Trevino, for listening in. He's a uh, Danny Trevino, uh, one of the great Pony fans out here. Also, a good athlete himself, and and uh, always giving Orly a hard time, but rightfully so. Well deserved. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, for for joining us and listening on us. Thank you for for you know the work that you guys did with UISD and the bus drivers shuttling these teams back and forth everywhere they went. Great collaboration with Pony, LISD, UISD, City of Laredo, Webb County, and all our partners. We're going to be thanking our sponsors here shortly. They are a phenomenal uh, bunch of folks who have contributed to the community to put this on for everyone, including this live broadcast. Well, we've got another strike thrown by LaBoy Melendez to Juan Elizondo. Again, if you're out there listening from uh, Puerto Rico, saludos. And that is a strikeout by Melendez. Wicked down little curve. Juan Elizondo. That's see. right. Did you see that thing move? Oh. That had a little, a little something to it there. Coach from Puerto Rico walking over to the mound to have a nice little conversation with his pitcher, Jay Laboy Melendez. Again, another Bull Durham moment. Oh, we're going to have a, a pitching change here. Puerto Rico is making a change on the mound. The boy Melendez, excellent outing, has got had a good tournament so far. Um, gave up five hits and uh, two runs in four innings pitched. Excellent pitcher. He's uh, got a great future ahead of him. Somebody's going to pick him up. 
Very smart. He's, uh, again, he's got that excellent move to first base. Already, and he was able to take two Laredo baseball players out. That's right. The best move we've seen all, all series. All series. Uh, from a pitcher to first base. And so now he's being replaced by Garcia Benitez, or Garcia Benitez. Another left-hander. Our coach from uh, Puerto Rico who made the trip to the mound is Emanuel Rosario. Emanuel Rosario coaching the team from Dorado, Puerto Rico. Thank you again, Ms. Gonzalez, who is giving us the right information across the live chat here on YouTube. Familia en Puerto Rico. Si tienen oportunidad de darnos información sobre los jugadores aquí de Dorado, por favor, denos esa información aquí en el canal YouTube de Laredo Pony. So, great, uh, great first base move that pitcher had, Melendez. Just a really, really exceptional move that he had. Caught both runners leaning, and once you do that, that's that's no, no coming back. So they had, they had to take second base, and they they burned both of them at second. Well, that's right, and uh, we've got one more game still left after this. Well, I believe Taiwan is playing uh, in the winners bracket tonight at eight o'clock. That'll be the last game of the night, and then we roll into Sunday. And those of you going to church on Sunday, make sure you light your candle, say your prayers, and uh, get your team get your team to that championship game. Shortstop, nice long throw, but he's going to be safe at first. Chopping ground ball over to right of short uh, short. Uh, I'm sorry, left of short uh, shortstop, and um, yeah, that that throw came all the way from the outfield. Uh, that was a great backup yep. on the shortstop. That it was. That may have gone gone into the outfield. Good good defensive play there. So we've got one more game after this. This game being Dorado Puerto Rico versus Laredo, Texas, the home host team. And we've got um, Gerardo Castillo at the plate, number eight. Trying to squeeze a bunt out there. Foul ball. Good jump by Ciro Benavides. Jumping out there from first base. So we've got a runner on first. Score zero, Puerto Rico, two, Laredo. Gerardo Castillo at the plate. Ciro Benavides on first base. Swing and a miss by Castillo. I believe we've got a new pitcher, although my game stream here says it's Laboy Melendez, but we know he has been retired, and I believe this is Benitez Garcia, or Benitez Garcia, who is now on the mound. And the, we'll confirm that. the runner for Laredo on first base is being very cautious. Oh, and nasty. Oh, <laughs> see that? Got him looking. Castillo goes down, eyes fixated on the ball as it came in and just did something to him. His eyes could not believe. Great pitch there. Now coming to the plate, number 15. And I don't see him on my roster here. Where are we? Oh, there he is. Joshua Lynn. Joshua Lynn, I'm sorry. Time to go get my prescription eyeglasses renewed. <laughs> that or I can I can always blame Coach Runhead for his scribble. That's right. Uh-oh. Nice uh, long ball hit right in between 
center field. Van runners advancing to third. They're going to hold him there. Runner from third is going home. There's no play there. He's safe at home. Laredo scores. What a smart move by uh, Coach Canales at, at coaching at third base. That, that was some alert playing right there. That's Absolutely. It. That's Ciro Benavides who had that aggressive base running uh, to go from first to third, and then and that ball got past the uh, the cutoff to run it into into home for run number three for Laredo. And so now we've got uh, on the mound pitching the Ricardo Garcia for Puerto Rico. Strike ball thrown to number nine, Jeremy Gabrillo. Pitcher Ricardo Garcia. Catching for Ricardo Garcia's best Buck. ball. Number 27. That was a, and a balk. That was a balk. We had a balk by pitcher Garcia. Advancing the runner to second base. And I think what the pitcher did at this particular point, he he didn't set. He kept his motion and he didn't set. There we go. A swing and a miss. My number nine, Jeremy Gabriel for Laredo. Again, on the mound, replacing the boy Melendez is Ricardo Garcia. In the score right now with Puerto Rico zero, Laredo three, and we are at the bottom of the fourth with uh, two outs, runner in scoring position on second base. Batter to place, Jeremy Gabriel. So, looks like we've got a pass ball and an out at first to retire the inning, but the damage is done. And we scored two runs here in the bottom of the fourth, making it 3 nothing. Laredo over Puerto Rico for the moment. That was a towering home run by the, the Laredo team. And uh, it was so devastating that uh, Puerto Rico replaced their pitcher. That's right. It's a confidence shaker sometimes when you have one of those dingers fly out the way that one did. And so Billy Winans, I believe, is returning to the mound for Laredo. Top of the fifth with uh, Crespo Garcia, the catcher. Uh, you know, council member, the, the city of Laredo has a tremendous amount of baseball fields throughout the city. Um, we support Pony. We support Little League. We support all youth sports that have to deal, boys and girls. Correct. But now that the sports complex is uh, is underway, and finally it's, it's going to get built, uh, I think that's going to be a game changer. Um Besides being able to play everybody at, at one particular site, mm -hmm. um, we're going to be able to host uh, even larger baseball tournaments. I know this is something that we've been waiting for for a long time, for Border Olympics baseball to be able to have the additional fields. And Border Olympics baseball at this current time has a tremendous amount of teams that are wanting to come and join the baseball tournament here. But we can only keep it at a certain number because of the number of fields that we have. Correct. That's true. We've got plenty of hotel rooms. Some group, some of the finest hotels in Texas are here. La Posada, one of our sponsors, is a phenomenal hotel, well, renowned across the state of Texas, across the southwest, well-known, beautiful property on the edge of the riverbank to the Rio Grande. Foul ball, uh, Billy Wines pitching to number 27 for Puerto Rico, the catcher, K. Crespo Garcia. Another foul ball, makes an 0-2 count to the catcher, 27, Garcia, Crespo Garcia. 
And if uh, Miss Gonzalez can get me a first name for the catcher, Crespo Garcia. K. Gres Crespo Garcia. Moreno leading Dorado, um, three to nothing. Billy Winams gets him swinging for the first out. Thank you, Neftali uh, Ojeda Jr. for the names of the players for Puerto Rico. We've got some first names here to match the uh, information we're getting from uh, Game Changer from their game stream. So we've got their last names here in the positions, but we don't have first names until now. Thank you for those that are watching live on YouTube at the Laredo Pony channel for the World Series, Pal Palomino World Series. And a nice hard ball strike by Billy Winans, pitching to. As you can see, the Laredo team has their bullpen very active. They got two pitchers warming up. Oh, nice high fly ball to right field. And we've got uh, out number two. For Puerto Rico in the top of the fifth. And now coming to the plate, we've got number 59, which is uh, Jose Torres Orozco, I believe. Number 59. Let's see if I've got this right. No, no, I'm sorry. This is Raul. Raul Torres Orozco, number 59. At the plate. High fastball. And that one's a little low for 2 0 count to Raul Torres Orozco, number 59. Nice shot to third base. Nice hard throw to first, and that retires wow. aside for Laredo. Puerto Rico. That's why they call it that hot corner, right? That's right. That thing was coming in hot. And so now Puerto Rico taking the field. And Cristian Crespo Garcia is the catcher. Thank you for that. We've now, I think we've got quite a few of the names here, so... We're glad you're, you guys are keeping up with us here at, on the live chat. Pony, invite your friends to watch the game if they, they have a chance to watch the, this game and others on YouTube at Laredo Pony. That's the channel. You know, Border Olympics, as you were saying, one of the biggest tournaments only, only has that capacity. We are at max capacity, but with that sports complex coming, We'll be able to add more teams. And as the city of Laredo continues to make the investment in sports tourism, which has now become one of the bigger tourism mechanisms for Laredo, um, we can we can expect that thing's going to grow. We've got teams that want to come. Exactly. We just haven't had the room for them. Exactly. And, you know, baseball here in Laredo kicks off with a Border Olympics baseball tournament. And then after that, it kicks off with all the youth uh, activities with baseball and then the, all the playoffs, and then basically if, if we're not hosting a World Series here in Laredo, we're going to host a state tournament mm -hmm. or we're going to host a regional tournament. So this is something that uh, the city has made a commitment to do. And providing this opportunity, I think it's, 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 it's going to be great for the kids. And it gives the local kids an opportunity also that they don't have to be traveling. They can play here in their own backyard. That's right, and, and that's right. And, what, and one of the reasons why we're so successful with the Border Olympics is all the volunteers, including Coach Rangel, who's coaching the Laredo team today. That's right. Uh, he is the tournament director for baseball for Border Olympics. There you have it. So one of the reasons why we have, we have that success is because of folks like Manolo and, and yourself and others 
Quito García, Valdi Guzmán, Orlando Navarro, Rene González. And we've got a nice fly ball to center field for a base hit with uh, De Leon, Andrew De Leon, number one, hitting over to first base. Coming up to the plate now, we've got uh, Billy Winans, the pitcher. No, yeah, I'm sorry, we've got the designated hitter, Juan Elizondo, the DH coming to the plate. If I've got it right, let me see. I'm watching my game changer here, and it just kind of looks a little wonky. I may have the wrong names here, but uh, at the plate is Marco Villanueva. And so we'll find out who's at first base. I think it is Andrew DeLeon. Oh, what a bunt attempt. Got a little bit of a piece of it. Runner DeLeon returning back to first base. Count is 0-1 to DeLeon. You I'm know the Puerto Olympics is a sports conglomerate of uh, different events. That's right. And uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity to bring uh, teams to Laredo in different sports. That's, that's absolutely right. And we got a foul ball by Marco Villanueva, number five at the plate, with uh, Andrew De Leon on first. No outs. Arredo leading 3-0. And it's like you said, uh, Chewy, it's, a, it's an, Olympic, an Olympic event uh, uh, here in Laredo. We've got uh, golf, baseball, basketball. We've got uh, track, track and field. field. And both boys and girls. That's and. right. Oh, nice curve, but he gets a piece of that and gets it over to center field. What a nice look. diving catch. Awesome. Laid himself out, sacrificed that body, and made the catch of the day. Puerto Rico, our center fielder. 32. Luis Sotero Nieto, I believe. Number 32. Do I have his right name? That's, uh, I want to say, that's uh, Jody. Goes by Jody, number 16, Otero Nieto. If I've got it right, let me know. Give me a thumbs up that I've got that right. If not, I'll make the correction. But, you know, now we've got an auditorium coming. That's right? it. That's, we've so just built That's going to open up the, the swimming uh, portion of the competition, and that's it. It's getting ready to kick off this year. You bet. And also, uh, we're building another tennis uh, championship complex at that's Tammy right. U. That's right, at Tammy U to, to that's gonna, add to all the all the uh, tennis courts we already have. Uh, that's right, and it's going to add to the Border Olympics tennis uh, tournament that already has. Runner at first takes oh, off. Oh, boy. What a heck of a jump. Base hit all the way to right field. Oh, and oh, and oh, he gets him at third. Got him. Got him at third. A phenomenal throw by the fielder who is uh, Fonseca. I can't see the number from here, but it looks like 93 Fonseca, which is... 93. Yeah, 93. Let's see if we can get a first name for him. Phenomenal throw. Uh, what a cannon for an arm. If I'm not mistaken, this particular young man hit a home run in the morning baseball game. Towering home run. Put it inside the... The campus at the elementary school in the left field. Is that right? Wow, fantastic. I, that was a heck of a play. We've seen two very good defensive plays from Puerto Rico trying to keep that Laredo lead from growing. We've got a runner on first base, and I believe we've got two outs in the uh, bottom of the fifth. Hot oh. shot to third and gets past the third baseman. That'll go, that'll go down as too hard to handle. That'll go down as too hard to handle. That is right. We get a runner at first base, Sanchez. A. Sanchez, and we'll find out who, what. Uh, Antonio Sanchez, number 20, now is in the lineup at first base with Jay Garcia. Coming to the uh, plate, Joel Garcia. Runners on first and second for Laredo. Two outs, leading three, nothing at the bottom of the fifth. And a shot over to left field. 
And here, nope, they're gonna hold the runner. Gonna hold the runner at third. We've got bases, bases loaded. Wasn't that a shot? That was. You, that, that probably left a nice little dent in that bat. That yeah. sure did. <laughs> you could hear it. Bases loaded now with uh, number six coming to the plate, Cito Benavides. Aggressive base runner. Two outs, bottom of the fifth, three nothing Laredo over Dorado, Puerto Rico. So here we go. Exceptional moving ball. That ball came all across from the right to the left. Nice movement on the ball. Strike one to Cito Benavides. Ricardo Benitez. Garcia on the mound. Or Garcia Benitez, I'm sorry, for... Puerto Rico, number 13. Ricardo Garcia pitching for Puerto Rico. Trying to keep his team in the game here. A little high. Count is one and two. Two outs, bottom of the fifth, Laredo leading 3-0, bases loaded. Two and two the count to Ciro Benavides. Ricardo Garcia, left-hander on the mound for Dorado, Puerto Rico. With bases loaded, bottom of the fifth. Inside, full count, 3-2, full count, two outs, bases loaded, bottom of the fifth, leading 3-0 Laredo. Puerto Rico desperately trying to hang on to make sure that this lead doesn't grow any. In Garcia facing Ciro Benavides with a full count. And he steps off the mound to check the runners. Again, drama. Bases loaded, bottom of the fifth. And oh. a smart shot right down to second base. Out at first to end the inning. Stranding three runs on the bases. Cito Benavides with a grounder to second. Great throw by uh, Ricardo Torres Ortiz. To first base, Martinez, number five. And that retires the side for Laredo. And we are now coming to the top of the sixth. Laredo leading 3 0. And Puerto Rico just staving off Laredo from adding more runs to the count there. You know, Council Member, we um, back in the, back in around, you know, 2007, 2008, I think. Uh, you were on the council at that time when we started seeing um, the tourism here in our city uh, taking a, a, a step uh, in the wrong direction, going down. Mm -hmm. And then especially with all the activity that was going on in Mexico at that time, it, it just, it almost just, it went to zero. Our That's hotels were empty. We yes, weren't sir. having the, the tourist attractions that that we used to have and the tour buses coming to Laredo. That's when we we decided to re-engineer ourselves and uh, and decided to, to take a different direction and say, well, how are we going to bring people into our city? How are we gonna put uh, heads and beds in our hotels? So we came up with the idea that we were going to make a very strong effort to become a a city that would host 
all kinds of youth activities, all kinds of sports for boys, girls, men, and women. In order for us to be able to continue to uh, compete, we started and we started working at it and working hard, started expanding our Border Olympics uh, events and started growing. And you can see the big difference today. Absolutely. You sure can. You can see it. And now we've got Billy Winans uh, back on the mound, throwing his first pitch and his attempted bunt, getting foul ball to Luis Otero Nieto, Nieves, I'm sorry, Nieves, uh, who is at the plate for Puerto Rico. This is a great pivot. Uh, when you were the city manager there, when you were assistant city manager, we made that pivot into sports tourism, ecotourism. Yep. And I tell you what, the ecotourism is, is big. When we we started that birding festival. Mm -hmm. That's turned out to be. Yes. All right. So we've got we've got. Uh, a few things happening here. We're going to make an announcement in just a little bit uh, on the PA system, which is outside of the broadcast that we've got here. But uh, because I'll be holding two mics, you'll be able to hear what the what the presentation is all about uh, as we'll be presenting uh, some home run balls. We've got a nice slow ground at a second. Nice little scoop up to first there. And we've got our first out for the top of the sixth with Gonzalez. Grounding out to second. And uh, we continue to continue to have some great baseball played here. Starting to cool off a little bit. It's gone down from 105 to 103. So we're. Sounds, <laughs> it looks like we're getting a cold front, right? Yeah, look, getting a little cold front here. Nice. Fly ball deep into center field. Center field are backing up, and he's got that for out number two. Number 93, I believe, is Fonseca, who was at the plate. And that's out number three. I'm sorry, that retires the side. I lost track of my count there. And Laredo coming to the plate in the bottom of the sixth, leading 3 nothing. And we've got a, a new pitcher, and of course, our, our game stream, if you see it on the screen, has Jay LaBoy Melendez on there, but it is Ricardo Garcia who's been pitching for us uh, at uh, For Dorado, Puerto Rico. And uh, we are 3 nothing at the bottom of the sixth. Puerto Rico did a tremendous job the previous inning and left Laredo with bases loaded. I think that was a great way to get out of that tough inning. Absolutely. That built a little confidence in, in them, in the uh, pitcher, knowing he's got uh, some great defensive players out there. The center fielder who made a diving catch, laid out his body. Jody uh, is the gentleman, the, the young man, uh, Luis Otero Nieves, goes by Jody, making that diving catch. And then the uh, right fielder, Fonseca, with a cannon throw, all the way down to third base to pick off the runner. That was a great throw. Uh, great arm. That's right. Great arm. Cherry Medina, who's joined us, asking who's winning. It is Laredo 3 nothing over Dorado Puerto Rico in the bottom of the sixth. And now we've got uh, Gerardo Castillo in a break coming up to bat. Ground ball to shortstop. Shortstop with a nice cannon arm. Look at that. All the way to first base and gets him. And Castillo comes up hobbling a little bit. He's got a little limp in his in his run there. And now at the plate, uh, 15, Joshua Lynn takes a strike. First pitch from Ricardo Garcia Benitez. Ricardo Garcia pitching for Dorado, Puerto Rico. And he delivers strike number two. Joshua Lynn looking at that as he came 
flying through. And foul ball to stay in. Keep himself alive. And it's another foul ball out towards the uh, right side, first base, going over the dugout into the stands. And so we've got uh, count 0 and 2 with one out. Another foul ball. As Ricardo Garcia. On the mound for Puerto Rico, battling Joshua Lynn, who takes his first ball, counts now one and two with one out. A little high, two two the count. Joshua Lynn at the plate. A little low, and that's going to load the count. Full count, 3-2. One out, no runners on. Arredo leading 3 nothing at the bottom of the sixth. And he walks him. Joshua Lynn gets a free pass to first base. Lynn also a good base runner. It looks like we've got a sub here. Let's see, number 10. Brian Gonzalez coming into to bat. J. Gabriel. And he gets a nice little dinger over second base, advancing the runner. Little fly ball with a kind of a quail right over second base. Headed over to first base now. We've got uh, Brian Gonzalez on first, Joshua Lynn on second with number one, I believe. Andrew De Leon coming to the plate. Yep, Andrew De Leon at the plate now. Ricardo Garcia pitching for Puerto Rico. Left-hander. They, they were trying to do a little trick play there. Short stops to have the ball and waiting for that runner to get off the base. But off the base, but that didn't happen. Didn't fool. Had, didn't fool have him. to return the ball back to the pitcher. Ball one to the to the batter De Leon. Runners on first and second. Second and first. One out. Bottom of the six. Laredo leading three nothing. And he throws one. Gets that corner inside. <laughs> that was a great pitch. Do you see that movement? Move. Left hander. Nice throw there. Nice pitch by Ricardo Garcia. And we've got a nice foul ball. Headed over to the uh, bullpen area. As you can see, there's uh, activity. That's right. We've got, uh, we got two up there. we got two, two pitchers warming up for Puerto Rico. Andrew De Leon at the plate. Count is one, two. Right back at the pitcher. Hits the glove. He's going to take his, oh, but he throws it over the first baseman's head. And we've got a run being scored from second. Comes in Joshua Lynn. Advance, uh, runner advances to third base is Brian Gonzalez. And we've got a runner now on First base as well, Andrew De Leon, number five. Coming into number five, coming to the plate, Marco Villanueva. Little conversation coming on 
up at the plate here at the mound with the uh, pitcher, Coach Ros Emmanuel Rosario for Puerto Rico, walking to the mound. You know, that uh, that little pit, that little throw from the pitcher's mound to first base has always been one of the hardest pitch or throw for a pitcher. You know, our, our former Parks and Recreation Director, Valdi Guzman, when he was in high school, we, I used to see him play here at, at, at West Martin Field. An excellent pitcher, uh, Baldi, and but every time he did a ball hit to him, he'd put that that pitch, he'd throw it to first base, and it'd go over the first baseman hit every time. It's just something about the pitchers that just cannot throw that simple little throw to first base. It's that nervousness. You've got an easy one here. Everybody, everybody's focused on me. I've got this one little throw to make. It's only, only a few feet here. Oh, it's gone into the stands every time. And I always, I always joke with Valdi Guzman. I say that's a, that's a Valdi throw right there. <laughs> oh, and so now we've got a right-hander coming in, uh, Ricardo Garcia, moving, uh, retiring, going into the uh, dugout. Uh, with Laredo leading 4 nothing at the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Andrew De Leon, um, let's see, who is now, uh, who's at first, and we've got a runner on third, number 10, Brian Gonzalez. Runners in the corner. With one out, new pitcher on the mound, trying to uh, get a name for the new pitcher a young young man for Puerto Rico that was pitching did a tremendous job he he had a curveball that was very very dangerous and he kept them at bay he sure did now we got number 49 that is uh, on the mound DJ I think is what his uh, nickname is, DJ number 49, uh, with PJ number uh, number 16, and then Jody number 32. So I'm kind of looking at the at the numbers that were submitted to us by, and names submitted to us by our friends in Puerto Rico who are watching the game live on YouTube, Pony Channel, at Laredo Pony. New pitcher on the mound, Marco Villanueva batting for Laredo, number five. Runners on the corner, one out, four nothing, bottom of the six. Laredo over Puerto Rico. And the pitcher is Dickie Gonzalez, number 49. That is who is pitching for Puerto Rico, right-hander. Came in to replace Ricardo Garcia. Thank you, Keely Gonzalez, again for that update, player update. And Gonzalez throws a nice strike to Marco Villanueva. Making the count one and one with one out. Runners on the corner. High and outside. Count two and one. DJ pitching for DJ Gonzalez, pitching for Puerto Rico, number 49. Big shout out from your sister, Keely Gonzalez. Again, outside. Count is 3 1 with runners on the corner at first base and third. Marco Villanueva. Three balls, one strike. And he walked Lock. to first base. That loads the bases here at the bottom of the sixth. Laredo leading 4 0. And Puerto Rico finds itself in familiar territory last inning. They had bases loaded with the same number of outs and managed to stave off additional runs to keep it at 3 0. But they have allowed one run so far in this inning, pushing the score to 4 0 as the clock keeps ticking on Puerto Rico here with DJ Gonzalez on the mound. Foul ball down the left field line here. We've got uh, Sanchez, Antonio Sanchez, number 20, at the plate. 
left-handed batter, right-handed pitcher, DJ Gonzalez for Puerto Rico. And that's outside. DJ a little unhappy about that call. Thought he got that corner. Looked good from up here. Then again, I needed glasses earlier. Couldn't read the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same pitch. Same pitch. And that one did keeping, that, place. keeping that ball on the outside corner. Not going to give him anything. That's right. So we've got a 2-1 count, I believe, with one out. Bases loaded. Antonio Sanchez at the plate. And now the count is 3-1. Bases loaded. Gomez. One out. Gomez at the plate. Is it Gomez at the plate? Uh, what's the number there? Uh, 13. I'm sorry. 13. That's Jose Luis Gomez. It's been really great. I've, I've seen these kids, you know, play baseball together, you know, throughout the years. Uh, um, this particular group here, um, uh, Went pretty far when they were uh, 13 and 14 years old. Mm -hmm. um, they went all the way um, to the basically just step away from making it to the World Series and uh, did real well. And now uh, you see them uh, here today, and it's great to see how, how they've grown and improved throughout the years, and uh, they've grown to, to be – very successful young man, and I'm glad to hear that some of them are, are moving on and going to college and playing baseball and furthering their careers. That's right, and, and that's always a good thing to see. We see now Coach Emanuel Rosario walking with the, uh, with the umpire as they're walking back. He's made a visit to the mound to talk to DJ Gonzalez, settle him down a little bit, give him a little word of confidence, a little pat. Getting ready to go back and face Jose Luis Gomez, who's at the plate, with a count of three and one, one out. And he throws that strike. So full count, one out, bases loaded. Uh, and we've got Jose Luis Gomez at the plate, not, uh, and he walks him. Walks him, and that advances a run. That'll score Brian Gonzalez, who's crossing the plate, number 10. With Jose Luis Gámez headed to uh, the to first base. And now our batter is number 11, Joel Garcia, coming to the plate. Again, bases loaded, one out. Five nothing. The bottom of the sixth. DJ Gonzalez fires a strike for Puerto Rico. One. Oh, and one the count. One out. Bases loaded. High fly ball to center field. Runner tags. Nice hard throw what by Jody. Throw. Over Jed Nevis throwing from Ortiz Nevis throwing from center field, cut off at shortstop. Nice throw, nice cut off, but we do have a runner score, so Laredo adds one to its tally, six nothing. And Puerto end. Rico uh, peeling the the runner that went home at third base, and the umpire called him safe. Swing and a miss by number two at the plate. Brighton Clements. Brighton Clements, if I've got that name right. Facing DJ Gonzalez for Puerto Rico. Hard shot down to second base. Tag on second for the force out. And that ends the inning for Laredo. Puerto Rico. Coming to the plate, 
bottom of the six. Laredo leading six nothing over Dorado Puerto Rico. Great game so far. You have to Laredo. give a, you have to give credit to all the kids from Puerto Rico. Uh, they are a tremendous team, and to all their parents that have been there to support them. I want to make sure that we let it, uh, the public know that all the work that the parents for these young kids uh, from Puerto Rico, we certainly appreciate all the support you give your kids. They wouldn't be here without your support. That's right. The parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, all those who form the support network for their star student athletes and get them to, to these tournaments. But long before that, it's all the practices, all the different events that they've got to go to and making sure they make the grade to stay active and be able to continue to participate as they move towards an education. Okay. It's a tremendous group of kids. Uh, very well coached. Very uh, well coached. Very disciplined, uh, you can tell. Uh, it's been a... Very tight game. I think uh, breaks have uh, have been to the to the home team. Yeah, team. To, to the home team. But game's not over. That's right. The game's not over. And now we've got Bache uh, Batista. Let me get his first name. I got it here earlier. I want to make sure I get it because he's a uh, number forty-nine, I believe. Batista, and we'll make sure we get the uh, get his name here in a second as soon as I can verify. And strike thrown by Billy Winans, who's still on the mound for Laredo, and the batter Batista Pache moves out of the batter's box for a second. Foul ball by number 16, who is um, PJ, PJ Pache Batista. So, PJ uh, Pache at the, at the plate, I mean, at the, uh, at the plate batting, and Billy Winans winding up to make the throw. And so, count is now one and two. We are at the top of the seventh with Laredo leading Puerto Rico six to nothing. Swing and a miss. And there goes PJ Pache Batista for the first out on the seventh inning. Coach Manolo. Not taking any chances. He, he's kept that bullpen active for the past two innings. So. That he has, and uh, but Billy Winans has done a outstanding job holding Puerto Rico scoreless. I guess that that visit to the pitcher's mound in the first inning. Uh, settled them down pretty much. Absolutely, it's paid off some really big dividends, has it not? That's it. You know, that's the that's the beauty of experience coaching. And uh, we do have some other live stream going on for the Bronco, uh, which is at Benavides Fields. We're streaming those games on Facebook and Vimeo. I know they've had some technical difficulties with the Vimeo channel, but Facebook, they were streaming earlier over at uh, Benavides for, Bron for the Bronco World Series, the 12U. The other field for Palomino, field two, uh, was not being live streamed, only the, uh, this field here. And we, I think, have captured every team at least once on live stream here, maybe twice, and now we're uh, moving into second second ending second day with the game at eight tonight and then we'll have another one foul ball 
by Martinez. Billy Wine is still on the mound. We'll have another game tonight, and then we will have uh, we will have uh, a series of games tomorrow, and and then championships on Monday. So, um, but the game game from Field Two is on Game Changer. You can follow it there. Our friends over at Game Changer, who have been feeding us their live game. And we have been uh, passing that on to you through this broadcast. We've got a nice hard shot to third base. And he gets into the outfield. Runner's going to hold up at first. Puerto Rico keeping its hopes alive with a hard shot right down the uh, right third down base. The yep. That, it was a good effort by the third baseman. Mm -hmm. Just too hard of a shot. He, That's too, right. That, that too hard to handle. Little, little lightning going there. Little lightning there. So, again, thank you to our friends over at... Uh, I just lost the camera. So, we, we lost our picture there for a second, and uh, we're back. Um, one of our uh, many technical challenges is we... we we try to produce these games as professionally as possible. Thank you for, for being patient with us. We've had uh, a few few things go today that were unexpected. Uh, when we started up the live chats this morning, we had uh, some of those artificial intelligence bots jump in there. I don't know about intelligence, uh, Chewy, but uh, they were artificial, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Just some folks who don't have anything better to do than try to sell you uh, some of those uh, nefarious pharmaceuticals. So yeah. this is a family channel. We hope that those uh, Russian bots or whatever they are, uh, mind their business. Do it somewhere else. Thank you to everyone who's been listening from Puerto Rico and those folks here from Laredo. We've had a few good good friends here, Danny Trevino and a couple others who've been uh, checking in on us and making sure we are bringing you a quality broadcast and thanking all our sponsors and those folks who made this possible. We've got uh, a whole list of sponsors that we're going to run after the game is over just to let you know that we've got a great community support. And uh, next year, we, we're hoping that some of the national teams that are coming in international teams if they've got sponsors who would like to have us help us pay for more live streams deep fly ball the center field registers out number two montaña is making that long hit and so yeah if you've got uh, sponsors you want to uh, reach out to laredo pony richard rosas our local president and line up sponsorships for next year, especially if your team's making it. Uh, maybe we can add a few more fields and a few more live streams, a couple extra cameras. That'd be great. Richard Rosas does a great job. Not only is he the president for Pony uh, here in Laredo, but his company, Rotax, is also a sponsor. That's right. Uh, puts his money where his mouth is and uh, does a great job of, of supporting youth sports and has for a long time. Does not have a child in this league, has not had a child in this league for darn near eight years now and continues to, to be an active contributor financially with his, you know, ta uh, his time, his talent, and his treasure. Although I give him as much grief as possible. I think we all do. <laughs> we, great we, guy, great friend, and a tremendous asset to this community. That, that he is. Definitely is. But we don't tell him enough so it doesn't go to his head. Though. That's great. <laughs> but we do love Richard. He's been fantastic for the league and uh, a, one of the big supporters out in the community when we were voting for the sports complex the first time and voting the second time to relocate that from uh, from one location to the other, right. uh, help rally the troops to get that voted on. 
both times passing overwhelmingly here in this community to have that complex built. That's correct. All right. Oh, looks like he jumped out. Of, uh, jumped out, and they're calling that a foul ball. Let's see what's happening here. Little dispute between. All right, and so the uh, umpire makes the final call. Makes the final call. The judge, the uh, home plate umpire, the judge overrides the first base and now makes the call, and that is an out, ending the game between Laredo and Puerto Rico. Laredo winning six to nothing after seven innings with uh, eleven hits, six runs. Puerto Rico with no runs, two hits, three errors. And now this game over, we're going to say thank you to some of our sponsors uh, somewhere in between. But I think we've got a uh, an announcement to make about some baseballs, I believe. I know. Abel's down on the field right now. I think uh, they're going to present the, the home run ball. So we've got uh, a presentation to make, ladies and gentlemen, here at the stands and those watching us on YouTube as we're going to be presenting some home run balls. Abel, a pony director, going down there to present those to number 93, PJ Yair Fonseca, Puerto Rico, Fonseca, and for Laredo, Mr. Garcia. This is... Joel F. Garcia getting a home run ball from the Pony Director down there at home plate. What a nice gift to get that uh, dinger back and put into your pocket, take it home, tell everyone that you knocked one out of the park here at Veterans Field during the World Series for Palomino Pony. Congratulations to uh, Yair Fonseca and to Jose Luis I'm sorry, to Joel Garcia, Joel Garcia, number 11. So congratulations, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this game with Laredo winning six to nothing over Puerto Rico. Those of you that are watching live on YouTube, we want to share a quick little video thanking our sponsors for their great help. So roll the tape. <laughs> 